welcome back to another video. So, uh, not too long ago I did a review of the um, Alchemy add-on and it uh, basically allows you, it gives every item in Minecraft an essence value and it, uh, you can basically convert to those items into the essence in the Alchemy t uh, station and then convert that essence into something like diamond. So I was like, what is the most powerful essence farm in Minecraft? So I've got here 10, fa 10 vanilla Minecraft farms uh, and I've worked out how much essence they produce in an hour uh, and uh, we're going to go from the worst to the best. Um, here are the rules that uh, I uh, went by while, I ma uh, while making this. Rule number one, no other add-ons. So you can't, you know, it, it has to be plain vanilla Minecraft. You can't have other add-ons, you know, enhancing it. Might do that another time, but right now, uh, doing this video. Uh, number two, must be farmable in survival. So yeah, you, all, you know, you have to be able to do the, make these in survival, which you can. Uh, number three, must not need a uh, previous farm to be effective. So, like, you get a bunch of never stars by basically trapping the river in that uh, bedrock that spawns in, like, that certain that, uh, way at at the zero, 0, I believe it is. Uh, um, but to that, but to do that, you'd have to have a wither skeleton farm, uh, so it would disqualify that because that would be two separate farms to make one farm. Um, number four, if the farm has a one-time use item, the essence cost of said item must be factored in if possible. Um, so like a bone meal powered farm, you'd have to factor in the, the bone meal usage for that farm. And its essence, its essence value. Um, number five, all essence values will be equated to diamonds. This is more so for your sake, so you can like kind of get, get, you can kind of judge like how many diamonds an hour you're going to be making. And number six, all farms must work on simulation distance. Four, again, this is more so for the. Uh, players because you know you don't you uh, if you're playing on the realm with the add-on then if it's uh, if the sim if it requires a simulation distance higher than that then it's not gonna work uh but yeah so the first one is a bone meal powered sugarcane farm and as you can see here this one's by silent whisperer uh i'll just scroll down so you can see all that this produces 15,020 items in 5 minutes or 180,240 items per hour. Now, I decided to start with this one because, oh, it's going to be easy to work this. Well, I didn't start with it, but it was one of the first ones. It's going to be easy to work this out because uh, you get two sugarcane per bone meal. So you just take the, the uh, production of the uh, sugarcane half that and then convert that number into the bone meal essence value. So that's what I did. I don't know what I was doing with my left arm there. Um, uh, so the essence production of it is 360,480 essence per, per hour. Uh, and then it consumes 720,960 essence per hour from the bone meal, leaving you with negative 360,480 essence per hour, or you'll be losing at 352 diamonds every hour running this farm. So yeah, uh, bone meal powered, uh, sugar cane farms are good. And uh, this was... Uh, and I wanted to do this one before I even thought about looking at bone meal powered bamboo or kelp farms because the difference between the sugar cane one and the other two is that the sugar bone meal powered sugar cane one you get two sugar cane per bone meal where the other ones you only, it's a one to one so you're going to be losing out even more on those. So yeah, that is the worst. Well, not not the worst. You could probably like I said the uh, bone meal powered bamboo and kelp ones 
probably give you a worse uh, rate, but yeah. Uh, on to the next one. So this is uh, Prowl's uh, Honey Farm. Now he says here it produces about 130 honey bottles per hour. Now you can either so you can either do honey bottles or honeycomb, and if you do honeycomb, you get free honeycomb, and they're about the same essence value when you. Uh, I think it's literally just like a difference of one essence value uh, when you subtract the um, the bottle used for the honey bottle. Uh, but then you also have the fact that you get free honeycomb, so it's basically trip three times as good. And the, the, this one oh, will. This one will uh, produce produce twelve thousand four hundred and eighty essence per hour, or twelve diamonds per hour. So yeah, not super great, but still, but still, it's uh, not in the negatives at least. Um, uh, but yeah, on to the next uh, farm, which is. Silent Whisperers, uh, uh, Simple Expandable Bamboo Farm. So this is uh, just the one he showed off in the video. You can see here in the description, he claims this produces about 10,000 bamboo an hour. Each bamboo is worth one essence, so that this was really easy maths. 10,000 bamboo, uh, so 10k essence an hour. That's basically 9.7 diamonds per hour. So yeah. Uh, we're getting better, but, oh wait, no, I made a mistake there, those two should be swept around, because that's 12 diamonds, 9.7, here, yeah, damn it. Oh well, you can all laugh at how dumb I am for, mis for getting those two mixed up, oh, nearly, stuck on the keyboard. Uh, but yeah, sorry, uh, Swap those around. Honeycomb farm is better than the bamboo farm. So next up. So this one I had to do a bit of uh, something a little bit special for it. So this is the you know new Santa Spurs brand new slime farm that produces 20 plus thousand slime a minute. But this is uh, dependent on how many armor stands you've got. So, uh, 30 will get you 373 slime. Uh, 64 will get you, uh, six, come on, 64 will get you 860. And 128 armor stands will get you 1701 slime an hour. Well, not an hour, it's per usage. So this isn't per hour, it's per usage of it. So it uh, and the, the reason why that, so this one and the future one does use a splash potion of instant timing, but the cost of that is so manual because it's like one bottle and like one third of a fermented spider eye and another wart and that's so like cheap that it's not even that it's going to make such little impact at the end of the day that it's not even worth the time for me to factor it into the calculations. What are you doing? Um, so what I had to do with this for its placement, I uh, uh, what I did was I took the uh, rates of uh, all uh, three um, levels, all three like amounts of armor stands here, and uh, I added them all up together, and that uh, I divided them by three, divided it by three to get the average rate. And the average rate is 29.9 diamonds an hour uh, on average. Uh, but to just go here, uh, with 30 armor stands. Uh, my, oh yeah, and I also factored in the armor stand cost. Uh, Lily, I want to have you. Uh, where did you go? Here it is. Don't play on the keyboard. Anyway, um, I also had to factor in the loss of the armor stand because you do lose the armor stand in these, but there's only like 10 essence per armor stand, so it was easy. Uh, so, 
That's so it's produce it, so with thirty you produce eleven thousand nine hundred and thirty six essence minus the armor stand cost that's eleven thousand that's six hundred and thirty six essence or eleven point three diamonds per use. Uh, then with sixty four armor stands that's twenty seven thousand that five hundred and twenty essence minus armor stand cost that's twenty six thousand eight hundred and eighty essence or twenty six point two five diamonds. And with 128 armor stands, that's 54,432 essence, minus cost of the armor stands, that's 53,152 essence, or 51.9 diamonds. Um, so yeah, but like I said, I took the app for its placement, I took its average, which is 29.9 diamonds per usage, uh, because, you know, I want this to be, like, applicable to most people, and I don't and um, yeah, without get without like having the statistics statistics of like you know what device everybody is using, I can't. I just have to go like with the average with this. Uh, and also, you don't want to cause too much lag, so you don't want to use too many armor stands. So if you're in your own world, you've prob you're probably going to be doing 128 armor stands or more. Where if you're on the realm, you might only do 64 or 30 armor stands per usage. So I wanted to get the average. So what about there? Uh, for its placement. So yeah, next up is the bone meal powered uh, moth farm. Now you, this was set, made by Silent Whisperer. You can see here he claims it produces eighteen and a half thousand items per hour, um, and it produces four types of items. So yeah, eighteen. Uh, most of which is moss and moss carpets and with some like azalea saplings. All of them are four essence each and and some seeds which are very, well, like you don't get a ton of seeds uh, so that it's not really going to make it too big of an impact and they have an essence value of two. So um, just, uh, so I'm just going to pretend that they're the same as the rest because like I said, you don't, you're not going to get many of them and uh, so it's not going to have a massive impact on how much essence I this this will produce. Uh, but yeah, so it's not yet. Uh, so 74,000 essence per hour if you convert uh, moss into bone meal with the alchemy station. Bone meal cost, the bone meal cost is about 6,660 essence per hour. I probably overestimated this, but it's... It was just a bit, uh, it's just like the best there. Uh, yes, I could do without just leaving it to one for an hour and seeing how much bone meal uh, one of these ate up. Leaving 67,340 essence per hour or 65.7 diamonds per hour. Which is pretty, which is pretty good. 65.7 diamonds an hour. Um pretty good. So yeah, next up on the list is the Iron Farm, uh, designed by Silent Whisperer. Uh, this uh, does 440 plus iron ingots an hour. So I said so this one was pretty simple, there's no cost, so I just took that. Uh, with, and the uh, uh, converted it to an iron ingots essence multiplied by the iron ingots essence value, which is uh, thirty one thousand six hundred and eighty essence per hour, or thirty point nine diamonds per hour. Now you'd be like, wait a minute, but that's lower than uh, moss farm and the and it's just above the armor stand armor stand slime farms average. Well, I also. And I would not recommend doing this because it is extremely difficult. But I also factored in the quad iron farm. So basically you can have up to four iron... If you have a central AFK spot, you can have up to four iron farms around you producing iron ingots at the same time. And I basically just took the iron farm's rates and times it by four, which uh, gives you an... God damn it. Uh... Which gives you an essence production of a hundred and twenty six thousand seven hundred and twenty per hour with the quad, which is a hundred and twenty three point seven five diamonds per hour, 
with a year average between the two of 77.325 yeah, diamonds per hour. So you, yeah, so the average between those two uh, put it above the others. Next up is, oh, I need to click that, there we go, is a creeper farm by, again, by Silent Whisperer. He, uh, he claims it tech produces 4,800 gunpowder an hour. Again, this was a super simple, some super simple maths. Just took that number, multiplied it by the essence value of the gunpowder, which comes out to 614,400 essence per hour or 600 diamonds per hour. Yeah, we're getting into like the real big numbers here. Like that was a big jump from like even the quad iron farm, which was only producing about 123 diamonds uh, an hour. So yeah, that was a big jump and we're still going up. There's still three more to go. So the next one is the flower farm, which, flower farm again, Silent Whisperer, I built this in the, my previous live stream. This uh, can produce 87,000 flowers an hour. Now, I may have overestimated it with this one a little bit because I can't, I don't know what the uh, average is, but I just basically was like assuming that uh, each bow meal produces a maximum amount of flowers, which is 14. Uh, that uh, and that the bow meal is about so that so yeah that's eight so that's eighty seven thousand essence. No, that's eighty seven. No, so that's eighty seven thousand flowers per hour. Assuming fourteen flowers per bow meal, about six hundred and twenty six thousand two hundred and fourteen bow meal per hour. So that's eight. 87,000 times 8, which is the essence value of a flower, is 696,000 essence per hour, minus 621 times 6,214 times 8, the essence value of bone meal, comes at, that's, uh, that's 49,712, equals 646,288 essence per hour, or 631 diamonds per hour. Now this is, uh, like, this is the max. Like I said, this is assuming that you're always going to get 14. Well, I don't think it varies an awful lot. Like, you can get a lot of flowers from this real quick. So it's probably not s super far off the average. Like, it, you're probably going to get, probably on average, like, 13, 12, maybe. So, yeah, it's not really going to make a big difference, I don't think. But yeah, on to the second best essence farm in Minecraft, and that is a gold farm. The gold farm from uh, Silent Whisperer. Uh, so, this one was a bit more complicated to work out. So, according to Silent Whisperer, it produces 2,000 gold ingots per hour, which is 272,000 essence per hour, just for the gold ingots, bear in mind. Then uh, you have the golden swords, which is eight double chests every 10 minutes. But, yeah, uh, uh, with... Uh, with the uh, alchemy add-on, uh, tools like and weapons like swords, shears, pickaxes, axes, and all that—they all everything with a durability. They lose essence value the less durability they have. Now you can't see the essence value changing because it would cause too much lag if you're doing a bunch of digging and it's constantly lowering the essence value. Um, so. Uh, what I did here is I assumed that they were all about half durability, so you'd only need to com combine two to get a fully repaired gold sword, which would which would mean you get 270 fully repaired gold swords every 10 minutes, times that by six to, to get every hour, 
That's 1,620 gold swords per hour or 443,880 essence per hour. Uh, assuming that the remaining 15,178 drops are rotten flesh, uh, that's a 60,000, uh, that's another 60,712 essence per hour. Altogether, that's 776,592 essence per hour, or 758 diamonds per hour. Yeah, that's a, that. That is a lot of diamonds. Yeah, that, as you can see, we uh, we went we went over. That's a more than a hundred diamonds more than the, the flower farm per hour, which is which isn't that much more than the gold farm creeper farm. Sorry, which is which is hundreds more than the iron farm. So yeah, this is. So we did have a bit of a spike there, but it's starting to level out. A Bit of rubber is still as there is still an insane amount of diamonds. Uh, but yeah, what is the most powerful essence farm in all of vanilla Minecraft? Well, that is the Silent Whisperers Ad Expert Guardian Farm. Uh, you can get <laughs> this is uh, quite ridiculous. You can get to level thirty in thirty seconds. So, and that's 30,012 drop, uh, prismarine shards with 40, uh, with the rest, with like a, uh, with the rest here being fish. So, this was fairly simple to work out. So, I just took the 30,012 prismarine shards uh, and the, the 10,000 fish, multiplied uh, that by their essence value. So that's seven thousand eight hundred seven million eight hundred and fifty thousand one hundred and twelve total essence an hour, or seven thousand six hundred and sixty six diamonds an hour. Yikes! Um. So yeah, that is the absolute best. Um. At least to say far, I know essence farm in all of Minecraft, and yeah, I don't think there's any farm that's gonna be toppling that anytime soon. I did look at some more, some other farms uh, like uh, the Warden farm, but that and the Enderman farm, but they didn't have a rate stated, so I what, so I wasn't gonna build them and then wait an hour for to get their rates. So. Uh, I don't know about them because I wanted to get this video out today and it did that this actually took a while even without that so uh, it was those two and I wa also wanted to do the a tree farm but I couldn't uh, find the rates for that either um, but yeah if you know uh, of any other like if you if you know like any other like tutorials that show off uh, those kind of farms with the rates on them, uh, I would very much uh, be interested in them. Leave a link to those videos down in the description and uh, uh, not description in the comment section below. I'll take a look at them and I might do a part two to this uh, to see uh, which farms, uh, you know, you know, all the farms are pretty good. But yeah, um, honestly, like. This, uh, this could, like, you have to do this manually, so, manually anyway, so the, uh, the, uh, armor stand slime farm would probably be the easiest one to set up. But, like, the flower farm just blows out of the water, like, with over 600 diamonds per hour. Like, that is way more than the armor stand farm, and it's not too much more, um, Advance is just a few pistons and a bit of redstone and stuff. So yeah, but the uh, advanced guardian expert guardian farm is, uh, like I said, is uh, quite OP, but it is also quite difficult to build. So yeah, but gold farm, the gold farm is it's not super difficult to build, but you are going to be. Um, because you can't automate uh, uh, items going into the alchemy machine, you are going to be stuck. You are going to be 
doing a lot. You're not gonna be able to go AF you're not gonna be able to go AFK for a long time unless you've got a ton of chests because you're just gonna be coming back to like get all the gold swords and shove them from the uh, into the uh, essence. Well, actually, you don't need to repair them. You, well, you can repair them because repair, repairing actually gives you more durability than just adding them together. But, uh, yeah. I guess I know I've got a bit of food, though, and I know you want my food. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And bye-bye.